Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to install the Huiyuan video on Comfy UI. There is an um, awesome project by Kija on GitHub. He wrote a custom node for Huiyuan video. Please go to his uh, GitHub homepage. So what we're gonna need to do is to get uh, the TDPS URL, we copy that and go back to your terminal where you install your Comfy UI. You will go to change your directory to your custom node and do uh, get a clone of it. So make sure that uh, you have it in the correct uh, location, Comfy UI and the custom nodes and press enter to do that because I already did that so I just canceled it but uh, please press your enter key so you can have it cloned to your local Comfy UI installation location once you have that change the directory to that as you can see there is a requirements.txt so you can do a pip install for that press enter so it may take uh, some time once it's uh, installed, you should uh, have every node required. Next, uh, there is an additional package you would like to install. So as it's explained here, it will require either flash attention or sage attention. So we would need to install the sage attention. Sage attention is one type of attention that you can easily install it by using this command, pip install specify the version 1.0.6 so you can copy that and go back to your terminal and uh, paste that press enter next thing you're gonna need to do is to download several model as it's explained uh, in the github page you will need the transformer and the VAE you go to the link specified for the hugging face Go to there and uh, you will need either to get uh, the BF16 or FPH version. So I recommend the FPH version. Download that. For some reason, for some reason the BF16 file doesn't work for me. So I need to get the FP32. But uh, luckily it's uh, not very big. So I got those two and uh, I placed them into my Comfy UI models directory. So if for the transformer, so the larger file, you get that to the diffusion models here. For the VAE, you place that to the VAE directory. All right. Once you have the model and uh, the custom node installed, you are able to get the workflow. There is uh, on the repository, there is examples directory. So you can get uh, the text to video example, this one and download that. You can also download the video to video. After everything's downloaded, we are able to start our Comfy UI web server. We go to the web browser. We can drag the workflow we just downloaded onto it. As you can see, there's no warning. Everything seems working fine. We are just uh, need to double check to make sure that we have the correct uh, model files. So we go to the Huiyuan model loader. So this is the FP8 version. Select that. We go to the Huiyuan video VAE. We have the FP32 version here. And uh, the others, we leave it as it is. The other two node, I think uh, this one is for the text encoder. So it needs some model, but it will be automatically downloaded. So first time you run it, it will take some time to download. After that, you will not need to wait for it to download again. We can do a test running as the repository suggested it may need at least uh, 16 gigabytes of VRAM so make sure that you have a GPU with uh, enough uh, VRAM for that let's uh, click uh, the Q button to get the thing started I will also show you the monitoring for my GPU card 
So this, this one, I'm using the second GPU. It looks like it uses around 15 gigabytes of VRAM, 99% utilization, temperature is 53%, all on the 3090 GPU. And here on the console, there is a progressing bar, which shows that the 30 steps, total time is less than three minutes. Looks uh, promising. The speed is at uh, 5.4 seconds for each iteration. We see that uh, the progressing bar has reached uh, the finish line. And we see that uh, there is a summary of the memory used. The, the maximum memory used uh, is 14 gigabytes. The total generating used uh, about uh, 204 seconds to complete. We, we, we see our finalized uh, video. Wow, looks nice. Uh, we had to reduce uh, the width and the height. I think the resolution may not be ideal. I, I think this is a great experiment. We, we should uh, expect uh, some optimization pretty soon. I think it can get very, very interesting if you tune it a little bit. You can also place with different options, like different width, different height, number of frames. It also highly depends on your hardware. Next, what I would like to do is to try the video-to-video -video workflow. As we just downloaded the video-to-video -video example one, and we have it here. Similarly, we need to double check the right model are being selected. So the first one, this one, it will be automatically downloaded. The second one is, uh, is also here. Make sure you have it selected. The VAE one, FP32, is what I downloaded. In order to get the testing video, we will just uh, go to the GitHub page. There is a uh, download. Of we just can just download it and uh, go back to the Comfy UI location and the way we are able to choose the video to upload it. And uh, here we are, we have the import video, we have the workflow, we have the model selected and then let's uh, press the Q to start it. Well, for the video to video, se seems we are using a uh, higher size 7068 by 432 we see the progressing bar it shows that uh, it needs about uh, eight minutes speed is uh, around uh, 16.2 seconds for each iteration total number of iteration is 30. okay we see that it's completed in 486 seconds and we see that the image has been the original video has been transformed into another video which is a bears running that's quite uh, fantastic looks amazing yeah please uh, give it a try if you find this video helpful please uh, give it a thumb up please uh, share it and also subscribe to my channel thank you very much happy holiday see you next time bye bye